Okay, we're back. Now the EET was a losing trade. Pullback trade was a winning trade, so not much we can do. Okay, we're down five ticks. I told you, this is more of an aggressive trade. The early entry technique is an aggressive trade. Why? Because the trend is still down. And we're going long. Still a great trade. In fact, I've got some traders that take the EETs for very small scalps, two, three ticks, and do them all day long. It's not exactly what I do, but it works out well for them. They don't mind trading most of the day, so it works out nice for them. So now what we're waiting on, one of two things. Either we're going to get a, a breakdown here and continue south, and our long-term filter will probably go short, and if that happens, we would then take a pullback trade. Okay. Now, had that happened here, let's say, for example, the high-term filter or the long-term filter had went short around here, then I would not want to take a long EET. That would have trumped us. We'd only want to take a short trade. Then we would have taken this pullback trade, and we could have stayed in that trade even longer like we were trying to stay in this trade even longer with the NSE coming out of no zone. Well, now things are changing because right now I realize you don't see my long-term filter. But that's really close to going short. So with that said, only trade I can make once that signal short, and like I said, unfortunately, you're not going to see it. I don't have a, a, a way on Pro Indicator version 2 with Ninja 6.5 to plot that yet. But I, cannot, I can't plot the long-term filter. So you have to trust me when I tell you it's uh, about ready to go short. So with that said, the only trade available will be a pullback trade after Pro Indicator version 2, which just follows the rules as I teach them, gives us a signal for it. So I'm going to go on ahead and pause for just a moment, try to keep this video short. But the goal here is to start recovering. We lost five ticks on this trade. So I'm going to try to grab between four and six ticks on a pullback trade if one develops. Okay, it hasn't showed up yet. And try to recover our money and still try to make a profit. So let me go ahead and pause the video for just a moment and we'll come back in a bit. Okay, we're back. The long-term filter is no longer a factor in our trading. So if we get an NSC, I'm gonna to try to jump in here at 1100 or better. That's over on the right hand side. Let me stay over here, I gotta get ready click this button if we get it. Now the NSC you see on the left hand chart, that's on a faster tick chart, that's just a reference point. We do not take the NSCs on that short term or that faster tick chart, we take them on a chart over to the right. So if we get a signal here, we're going to jump in at 1100 or better, and it'll be right over here, and we're going to try to recover. I'm going to go for scope for six ticks on this trade if we get it. That's going to recover the five ticks, give me a tick in the bag, and then we'll try to catch one more trade for four ticks. And this is, if we get the NSC, this will be a normal system entry out of no zone. So that's a high probability trade, one that I would definitely want to be in. It's really the trade I want to be in earlier when we first took that EET, right? This would have been it, but it happened to come down and stop us out, so we are unable to stay in a trade. We took a loss. We had to cut our losses. Now, ideally, it would not have stopped us out. It would have turned right around and given us the NSC, and then we could have stayed in longer, right? So, But that didn't happen. So now we're just going to try to catch the NSC long and see what we can do. Now, one more thing is worth noting. The long-term filter had gone short. That's no longer a factor. With the sideways action right now, the long-term filter, if we get some action to the north side, if the price action starts moving up, long-term filter could go long. And if I'm still in this NSE, assuming we get the NSE to, to jump into, I could potentially stay in that trade longer because the long-term filter had gone long. Right? But when you see this, when you start seeing a long-term filter, keyword long-term, going short and then turning right back around going long, pretty good indication that the market's going sideways is, you can already tell which the market is doing. Which, by the way, in a sideways market, that's when my EET trades, even though the last, the first trade we, we had today, the only trade we had today was an EET, didn't do all that well, okay? During sideways actions, EETs really perform well, okay? So I'm going to have to pause this video again and wait for this signal because it's um, we're getting too long here. Uh, here we go. Here we go. We're probably going to signal here in just a moment, so let me keep it going, and I'm going to pause the video. There we go. Let me jump in. 1100. I'm long at 1100, 
And we're going to try to jump off here at 11 to 150, try to catch the five ticks that we lost, and plus a tick. And then we'll see if we can catch one more trade and make four ticks profit. Now, if this trade goes against me and we have another loser, okay, I'm not going to panic. I'm not going to break the rules. I'm going to follow the rules, which say that first NSC at a no zone is a high probability setup. If that fails, the, re the reversal trade is typically a good recovery trade. Okay, so if I lose on this trade, now I've got two losing trades in a row, I got to go for an eight tick target, I got to try to run it, I got to recover. Okay, that's what it's all about. Now, another thing to point out, there's a short early entry technique. Okay, Pro Indicator version 2 is going to show it. This trade may be a winner, but we do not take this trade. This trade is invalid. Why? Because this is a high probability long signal. Okay, there's never a guarantee in, in any trade, but the rules simply are we would avoid a short signal when we're coming at a no zone on the NSC. Now, if the NSC fails, different story, but as of right now, it has not failed. Okay, so even though this early entry technique is looking pretty good, it's an invalid trade, but realize Pro Indicator version 2 can only plot the trades. It doesn't know all the rules. It knows some of the rules with the no zone, etc., but it doesn't know all the rules. Okay, so in any event, I need to pause this video. We're getting really uh, uh, drawn out here, so may have to stop it when we come back, but let me go ahead and pause it, and we'll come back in a bit. Okay, we're back. The um, EET, again, this was an avoided EET. That was a losing EET, so the rules saved us from a losing trade. Now, we do have a point profit in here, five ticks profit in here, but we're recovering. And again, this is a high probability trade, so I really want to recover. I'd like to recover an extra tick if possible. So I've got my full recovery right now, but I'm going to go for a little more and try to get 1101.50, try to get the extra tick in there and take it from there. So if it prints 110150, I'm going to take my stop loss up just a little bit. So if it does turn back around on me, at least I lock in something. So there's 50. Oh, too late. There we go. So we're off the trade. We made a full recovery. And the long-term filter, unfortunately, is just getting ready to go along. I could have stayed in more. We jumped out. We could have stayed in more and tried to grab an additional point now that that long-term filter is long. And look at that. It's just about there, too. But that's okay. It is what it is. Okay, so we actually have a report coming out shortly. So right now with the long-term filter going along, you know, had I not jumped out of this trade, okay, I could have stayed in a little bit longer, tried to get the extra point right here. That would have been nice. Uh, that right there would have been, there you go. That would have been our recovery plus our profit. And there it is all the way up. Beautiful setup. Normal, uh, normal system entry coming out of no zone. It's also an example of the super EET that just didn't happen. We take the EET long, it's aggressive. Why? Because the trend was still down. Just came down by, an, by one tick, stopped us out. We, of course, avoided this trade because it wasn't valid because the long term, I'm sorry, the NSC coming out of no zone was a long trade and that was valid, so we avoid the short trade and so had we not been stopped out of that EET, it would have been a beautiful super EET trade. But that's an example of what the super EET is. So, so right now, I could look at a pullback trade to stay in line with the long-term filter, try to grab four more ticks. That would be a six-tick stop loss with a four-tick profit. Pro indicator showing my entry at 1,175. But I need to stop this video and come back with another one. So let me go ahead and stop the video.